God is already here. Mashatan neke tu suta la haladaja. If you can worship, can you just worship right now? Can you just worship right now? I don't know what you came with. I don't know that thing that you have been struggling with for years. There is already deliverance. There is already deliverance in the house. No, we are not praying like people that came here for an encounter. Hello be your name. Pray the mighty God. Hello be your name. Can everyone can you just break that alabaster boss? Can you just break that alabaster boss? Can you just release yourself for his touch this evening? And the Holy Ghost is already here. And the Holy Ghost is already here. I don't know how tasty you are, but you can you can actually draw as much as you want. Malaya kuba sundi alala. Mazetele ke pala katala dada bala hasha. Malaya, you welcome you Holy Spirit.
by the Holy Spirit. When you are overshadowed by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit has already taken possession of you. And one thing that happens is that you begin to see the way he sees. One thing that happens is that you also begin to think the way God thinks. Another thing that happens is that you begin to speak his kind of words. Another thing that happens is that even your feelings, your emotions begin to take the nature of the Holy Spirit. When you are be invaded by the Holy Spirit. Right now we're going to launch into the deep. And he said, for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. If I hear you're not baptized in the Holy Spirit right now, the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And if you're here, you have been baptized in the Holy Spirit. There's going to be a newness, a freshness, and in feeling again. And he said, but, but uh, okay, tongue speaking not unto men, but unto God. For no man understanding, understanding him, how be it in the spirit he speaketh mystery. 
Now we're going to be praying in the language of the Spirit. I don't know what you are thirsty for. There is no even effective way we can pray. The, the only effective way we can pray is in the Holy Spirit. For some of us that are going to be praying in the Holy Spirit, there is, there is a, a rich river in your belly that is going to be unlocked. And just allow, allow God to deal with you this evening. Now, can we just pray in the Holy Ghost? And the scripture says, He that believes in the Holy Spirit, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, can we make demand on that river? Everyone. I don't know, is it how you wrestle with God? You are not praying like someone that is actually thirsty and hungry for God. How has been your walk with God? How has been your prayer life? This is the time to throw that fire for him. That one way by God, I'm not letting you go. Until I am drunk or until I am filled with you. Hey, unto out of your belly flows rivers of living waters. Pray in the Holy Ghost. And if you're here, you are not yet baptized in the Holy Spirit, you can come out. You are not yet baptized in the Holy Spirit. You can come out here right now. You can come out here. If you have not given your life to Christ, you can come out right now. If you are not yet baptized with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you can come out right now. Come out and get baptized. Come out and get baptized. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? If you are not yet baptized with evidence of speaking to come out right now. The Holy Ghost is already here. Everyone, can you draw? Can you draw? Can you draw? Can you draw? And if you have not given your life to Christ, you can come out right now. Let's 
Shadow you and because this is what he wants to do. Can you let this pray? This is not the time to murmur. This is the time to pray because your breakthrough has come, your deliverance has come. For most of us, yeah, we have a great calling of God in our lives. We just as if you have lost the fire, 
there is a restoration there is a restoration now everyone pray the holy ghost for most of us we have lost that freshness we have lost that newness
worship him in spirit and in truth. Mashata balande bodo bosa. I help her as come maliande bono mosa. In kobolo bosa. Go ahead and draw from that well. Shada da 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 da. Hey, they're in count as friends. They're in count as friends. Go ahead. Shabana la balada da balada balada da ba. Ekato sabala da balada 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 ba. You don't need to look around, just go ahead and draw this moment. He is in this place. Oh, Shabanano Superande Rebosa. He is electrifying power. He's all over this place. Go ahead and draw right now. Every woman was shada da 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 da
us who have come to behold that call him the wisdom call him the wisdom call him the wisdom shamaloza hey kaloza you reign forever your name is ever great you are you are call him the power and the wisdom of god before time begins I just love the lyrics of this song. It says that he reigns forever. He's ever great. That he is the wisdom before time began. Meaning that before time, before we hear, before whatever it is we see, it was, he was. Hey, Shamanos, we've come before Christ, the power and the wisdom. He is said to dissolve everything. I don't know how many you are, but he is said to dissolve every issue, every mountain. He is the wisdom. He is the wisdom before time began. He is the wisdom before time began. He is the wisdom before time began. That's who he is. That's who he is. You are, you are, you are. He can unravel that mystery. He can unravel that mystery. He can unravel that circumstances. He is the wisdom. You are, you are. In our lives, you reign. In our marriages, you reign. In our career, you reign. You are, you are, you are, you are. Everyone, everyone, acknowledge that he reigns. Shaminosa, you reign. you Lord we acknowledge you oh God we acknowledge you oh God your name your name your name you are you are you are the wisdom 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 Just worship him. He's the lion. He's the lion. As we worship him, let there be a revelation of him in our lives. He's the lion. He's the lion. Oh, he's the lion. Say he is the lamb. He's not a man. Hey, say he's the lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion of the tribe of Judah. The shade of days on change of God. You are you are. Sukabalian de Brodobosa. Ebalan de Brodobo. Go ahead, say. We worship the lion. We worship the lion. He's the lion of all. We worship the lion. Go ahead, he's the lover of our soul. The one and only true king, the champion. We worship the lion. Hey! Shabba, ba, 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 
together to worship the King, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Essendes, Onike, Oniso, Akadamatiruso, Isikendo, Okonyarere, Okemo, 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 that's who we've come to worship, that's who we've come to worship, Go ahead, the lion is here. The lion is here. Some of us is reading down fire inside you. There's a fire, a fire that you cannot quench inside you.
worship you. That's why we worship you. Just lift up your hands, everyone. Say you are who you say you are. El Shaddai. That's why. That's why. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. So when did it arise? Make your brother move. Send it to me. Send it to me. Shabbat Shalom. Worshiping the king now. You reign, you reign. You ancient Zion king. That's who he is. The unchangeable changer. The ancient of days. Kadosh, you are you. Lift up your hands and surrender. Say you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You reign. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty, you are mighty. Hey, you are reign in our lives, you are reign in our families, you are reign in the marriage, you are reign. You are reign in Nigeria, you are reign in every day. You are reign, you are reign. Come on, come on. Hey, one more time, go ahead. You are reign, you are reign, you are reign. We take the second verse. Say, oh, see, oh, fountains of the deep, cry out, Father, you are mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. Oh, fountains of the deep, you know, sing out, sing out, oh, see, oh, see, oh, fountains of the deep, oh, Shabbatada balege de bosa. God is on the deep. God don't say that He's holy. He's a holy God. He's a holy God. Oh, cry out, cry out and sing. Oh, fountains is on the deep. He said that they came and they said, "Holy, holy, are you, Lord God Almighty?" In reverence and in awe of Him, He said, "Holy, holy, are you, God Almighty?" When we say Kadosh, we say, "Lord, you are a holy God. There is none holier than you." And for the fact that we are in Him, oh Shabanyanosa, God is said to purify. God is said to set things right. Lemanyano surrender the bosa. Let your brother move, surrender the bosa. Oh, cry out, cry out and sing. Oh, sing. Oh, fountains of the deep. Cry out, cry out, God. You are mighty. You the lamb upon the throne. Shout out, my bosa. Adonai, 
just pour your love on him can you just pour your love on him thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you thank you and you just started with us thank you thank you if you can we're going to be having a drama ministration right now keep being thirsty keep being, being hungry God is said to the God just started with us so please can we welcome the drama ministers You will not kill me. I did not kill my mother. Hey, I did not kill my mother. You will not kill me. Did you hear me? You were a curse. See, you're going to kill me. I will kill you first. I will kill you first. Cost. No, it can't be cost. But 
mba no no it can be cost o ma le cha won no 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 you know you are beautiful you are i'll take it to all the old world you can relax you know i will take it to all the old world china name it everywhere australia i'll, I'll take it to all the old world hmm. yes oh beautiful baby oh awesome will you be my wife be my the mother of my child. <laughs> All the old guys are just the same. Everybody, just the same. All the old girls. What's the meaning of this? Why are you crying? What's the problem? He. Hello. He. What are you doing with a man? Excuse me. Who broke your heart for what? Chigozie. And you didn't tell me when did all this start? Eh? I don't. I don't understand. When did all the how dare him? Who is he? Who born him to break your heart? A guy, a guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're yet to see something. Just get this one. Get this one. Get it, get it. Take this. Take this. Yeah, thank you so much. How about, how about these things all this morning? You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me about all these things you've been going through. Ah! I'm always there. Thank you so much. so nice. Thank you so much. Here comes the real ecstasy. You've not seen anything. Come across. Ah, see, very. See your color. See everything. I love you. I love you. No man can love you as much as I do. No man. No, no. Ah. destroy you woman <laughs> you have no place hello rita <laughs> good evening there eh? how are you now ah, now destroy her okay. rita i cannot give you that till now see I i'm just going home coming back see today has been so tiring please okay you know what i'll give it to you tomorrow wait 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 let, let, let me call you back let me call you back please yes thank you What 
me to let go of all my story all that has been a part of me all along these are my story the things that make me who I am if I let go of them how will people pity me again how else will I attract those compassionate looks that fill people's eyes anytime I tell them my story woman let go of your past and don't let it define you come out of that self pity and accept the love of Christ for you woman let go of your pride let go of that pride and break alabaster boss at your master's feet this is not you. Come on. If you truly tell me I can let go of my past, then what happens to my future? It still looks bleak and uncertain. Moreover, how do you expect me to believe that this Jesus gave himself for me and wouldn't expect anything from me? I'm worthless now and have nothing more to offer. How do I even believe that this Jesus is not like every other man I've met in the past? In the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit of fear speaking in you. I bind that devil speaking fear into your life. Woman, listen to me. You are made whole and you are loose. You are set free. You are born of God. This is not you. You are God's delight. You are the bride of Christ. Come on, stand up. And I don't pray that spirit. Arise. Arise. This is not you. God has set you free and made you whole. You are free. You are not done. some of us we are struggling with guilt we are struggling with fear we are struggling with condemnation see light has come and Jesus is light and the scripture says that he that knows the truth shall be set free can you just talk with God can you just lay it down at his feet of our father before his throne is where we've come this evening I want you to lay everything down I want you to lay everything down before your father your past hearts 
that thing that you've that has defined you in the past lay it before him this evening and allow him to give you a new identity oh before the throne it's where we've come to offer praise and seek wisdom you have turned away that
hug you but this evening just fix your gaze on Jesus oh all I see is you his presence is in the house he's here to change he's here to transform he's here to heal as I worship and adore you all he wants is that we should yield to him yield to him I heal myself for this is where I want to be and welcome to Ladies Classic 2021. <laughs> Hallelujah. The time came for the manifestation of the word of God become flesh. And God sent his son as a child. But before the son was born, there was a visitation of an angel to the person that was chosen to marry. Now, when Mary was told about the birth of Jesus, it was something that was abnormal because it has never been heard that a virgin gave birth. It was something that was actually impossible with man because it has never been heard. It was impossible. It was impossible with man there's no medicine. There's, in fact, there's no even advancement of medicine that can cause such to happen. Now we're talking about what happened in time past. Even in the future, there is no advancement of, of uh, medicine that can make it possible for a woman to give birth without 
the way we know it. But when, when Mary wondered how this could be, there was something the angel told Mary. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Verse 34. Luke chapter 2 verse 34. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I have no man? Seeing I know not a man. How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? I don't know the question you're asking about how shall this be. Seeing that you have a lot of things to fill in, seeing that this, seeing that this, how shall this be? What the angel say to Mary? Angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. The angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow. Now when we talk about overshadow, it's just like being encapsulated, being overtaken, being soaked in, being sucked in. And anytime God wants to do something that is not natural, beyond the natural, what he does is that he overshadows, he goes ahead. He does something that is, you know, you can't say this is man that did it. And he's the only one that can do such thing. That is why whatever it is God will do or is doing in his church, he is doing and will do through the person of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand what I just said now? Whatever it is God is doing in a church or will do in the church, he will do it, he is doing it and he will do it by the reason of the Holy Spirit. Now when the Holy Spirit comes, one of the things the Holy Spirit does is to impact, that is he comes upon us to indwell us and then he comes upon us so that we can do ministry. He comes upon us to indwell us so that we can live the life of Christ. There are people that find it difficult living the life of Christ. What the Holy Spirit does is that when he comes upon you, he comes upon you and you are able to live the life of Christ without struggle. And then when he also comes upon you, he comes when that overshadowing happens. There is a birthing. And whatever it is, it is at that time that we can, we understand that when the Bible said that whatever is born of God overcomes. Do we understand what I'm saying? There is a burden that happens anytime the Holy Spirit overshadows. Let me tell you what he said he was, he's going to do this weekend. He's go, he said he's going to overshadow us this weekend. That was what he said. Now, when he says he's going to overshadow us, it means that he's going to pour out, he's going to come upon us without measure. Have you seen someone who went into the river and then came out? The person will be dripping, right? That is exactly what will happen to us or happening to us this weekend already. In such a way that we will be drowned in him, overtaken in him, to the point that our feet will, lo as will lose grip under the water. How does God send his power? One of the ways he does that is through his word. When he speaks, when he speaks, he calls things to be. When he speaks, he makes things happen. When he speaks, he beautifies things. When he speaks. Now, let me tell you. Anytime someone experiences the Holy Spirit, there's always a, a drastic change from what the person used to know himself, all right, okay, herself as, to what the person cannot explain, but that is actually what the person wants to be. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Because there's, there's going to be a translation 
there's going to be a transformation that it you can only say it did not happen because you went to school it did not happen because you you changed location you no know, from nigeria to dubai or america no it happened because there was an encounter with the spirit of god overshadowing you and let me tell you one of the ways the Holy Spirit manifests in the midst of his people, of God's people. One of those ways is when the word of God is spoken. The Bible talked about Peter. As Peter spoke the word to Cornelius, the household of Cornelius, the spirit of the Lord came. Another way is through recognizing God. Recognizing God's greatness. Recognizing the person of the Holy Spirit. Actually worshiping focusing on him worshiping when we worship him when we adore him when we glorify him when we bless his holy name when we when we give him space he manifests among us and let me tell you where you are where we are right now we are before God Almighty let me tell you we are not at the outer court we are not even in the inner court. We are in the Holy of Holies. There is no restriction. No restriction at all. This is, if you locked up your shops to be here, this is the wisest decision you made this weekend. If you traveled anywhere from Lagos, Gombe, Kitty, everywhere to be here, that's the greatest thing you did for yourself. Because the experience of this weekend cannot be quantified with money. And it's an experience, an investment of a lifetime. And you know, about, about 25 years ago, I 